What's up guys? I'm Elliot with Armada Engineering. I'm the founder here. I started this company back in 2011 out of my garage. I scaled it up into what it is today by building some pretty different and unique vehicles. We like to test a lot of different ideas and technologies. We've done things from race cars to pre-runners to industrial equipment, movie cars, all kinds of different things. And we're starting something new that we think is gonna shake up the industry a little bit. Something no one's done that we've seen and we're gonna share with you guys all the way from the beginning to the end. We're gonna build a luxury pre-runner that's available in a kit form. We'll do all the welding and fabrication and all that technical stuff that not a lot of people have the ability to do in-house here at Armada. And then we'll ship you a chassis fully welded, ready to assemble with all the parts that you need and you bolt it together yourself. We're gonna walk you guys through the whole process. Everything that we do here from basic early concept of the vehicle to the CAD design to the fabrication and manufacturing of the chassis and all the way to go out in the desert and testing and developing the vehicle. So the vehicle itself is gonna be a trophy truck level pre-runner truck. We're gonna do a full fiberglass cab with working doors and windows, seal that thing up. It's gonna have all the big stuff on it, big shocks, big brakes, big steering. We're not gonna skip on any of that stuff. We're gonna be offering this truck in a kit form. So, you know, the average Joe with a basic set of tools can buy it and just bolt it together in his garage. No fabrication or welding needed. Building a brand new vehicle is super exciting for us. Probably one of my favorite parts, seeing it come to life is super exciting. So we're gonna walk you guys through that whole process and start sharing some of our deep dark secrets of how we build things around here. Hi, I'm Christian Shermans. I'm an automotive engineer and I design chassis and suspension components here at Armada Engineering. I'm currently working on setting up the suspension and steering geometry for the new kit car project that we're doing. We set up a centerline sketch for all of the suspension points and components to be designed on top of. And this sketch is completely governed by a table full of suspension parameters and equations. So we can fill in our desired suspension characteristics like camber, caster and wheelbase and then the model will output the correct mounting positions for all of the suspension components. We wanted to come up with a more universal way of setting up our suspension and steering geometry. In the past, it was common for people to just make a base model, start changing values, see where everything ended up. Instead, we want to decide exactly what the suspension will do before we start drawing. So what this model does is it takes an input that we decide on, like camera values, track width, wheelbase, and it turns those input values into a suspension system that actually yields those values. We're gonna call the truck the KT-01. We want it to be a short and simple name, but kind of define what it is. The KT stands for kit truck and 01 because it's the first of its kind. A lot of different vehicles. This vehicle behind us is a 6100 truck, one of our small lightweight 6100s that we've built a lot of. We've done a ton of R&D on this vehicle. I've kind of taken a lot of the experience I've learned in the desert and how these trucks handle differently with different setups and you know, given that information to Christian and he's mapped out a lot of different positions in the four link of the KT-01. So that way customers will be able to try different suspension pivot points in the four link and see how it handles differently and reacts. Yeah, there are just a lot of different suspension theories when it comes to off-road racing. Everyone does something slightly different and it's kind of hard to tell what really works on paper. We took all of the data that we have from his testing, we compared it to a couple different theories and we turned it into what we think would be most suitable for this application and we tried to add as much adjustability as possible to, uh, to make it suitable for different driving styles as well. We decided to go with the traditional rack and pinion on this car just because it's a little bit more user friendly. The purpose of this truck is for people to be able to assemble in their garage easily. So, you know, the swing set steering is, is cool and you can do so many unique things with it, but there's a lot more moving parts and a lot more complication and expense to it. So 
We're just going with a traditional rack and pinion. I'll keep it simple. On the KT-01, we decided to put the coilover and the bypass shock next to each other. They're both 14-inch stroke units. By putting them next to each other, we can maximize the stroke of both and get the best damping characteristics out of our front suspension. So the KT-01, we'll be building a rear fuel cell, kind of like you see in this one here. We'll put a dual fuel pump set up. I like to mount the fuel pumps in the fuel tank, but up high. That way you get them inside the fuel, so the fuel will help keep your pumps cool. It'll also put basically a short straw to suck the fuel up to the pump, so that pump's not having to work so hard. And it also makes it serviceable. You can take out a couple screws here, pop your fuel pumps out and service them or change them in the middle of the desert if you need to. On these pre-runners, we have three massive oil coolers in the back of the truck here. Packaging is kind of limited on these things, so you don't have a lot of space to put these. We found that you know it's stacking three coolers back here, fits really well. Two of them are actually for the transmission, one of them's for engine oil cooler. On the kit trucks, we've been thinking about the plumbing and try to simplify it, try to get the cost down and make it really easy to work on. So on the KT-01, we'll put one larger transmission cooler in the back here, and then we're gonna incorporate that oil cooler into the bottom of the radiator in the front of the truck, so it minimizes the amount of plumbing that goes into that and keeps things super simple and lightweight. Traditional pre-runners, you gotta go out and get a donor cab, like a Chevy Silverado or an F-150, and then you can gut that thing down, pull the cab off of it. There's tons of work to cut the firewalls out of it, and then you have to drop that onto the chassis and grab that all in. We're trying to eliminate all that work by building a full fiberglass cab on the KT-01. The fiberglass cab will be specifically designed for the chassis, so it'll fit perfectly around the tubes. Everything will have nice A surface to A surface transitions to where they butt up to each other. It'll be perfect. We'll also use a minimal amount of hardware and some seals to seal that thing up real nice and easy. One big difference between some of these turnkey pre-runners and the KT-01 will be that we're trying to use as many off-the-shelf parts on the KT-01 as we can. If you look at this intake, for example, this is a fully custom-built intake for this truck that fits around the chassis while still staying underneath the hood. Parts like these take a lot of time to fabricate. They're very expensive. If they would get damaged in, say, a crash, it would be very hard to replace them. So we're trying to use more off-the-shelf parts on the KT-01 to just simplify things, make it easy for people to find replacement parts. A lot of guys are doing these tilt hoods on their pre-runners now. It's kind of a, a standard design, which is pretty cool. It makes it easy to pop that thing open and service it if you have to in the desert. We'll do a similar setup on the KT-01, just a big giant one-piece hood. We'll try to incorporate some mounts in the fiberglass mold, so it makes it really simple and cost-effective to mount it in this fashion. One thing that's kind of a pain on these pre-runners is the engine is stuffed so far back in the cab and the windshield comes and covers up most of it. It's really hard to do an engine swap or work on the engine if you have to. On the KT-01, we're gonna make sure we leave a lot of room up here in the engine bay for pulling the motor out, and then we're gonna make the whole roof and windshield frame one piece that comes off with a couple bolts, so it's pretty easy to get in there and service it if you have to. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're gonna have many more episodes coming your way, walking you through the whole design process, fabrication, and testing of the truck. See you around. Yeah.